Hello there, welcome back to my channel, Backgammon is Beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now I like to call this short lesson, same but different. Now one of the hardest things to learn when you first start out playing Backgammon is that the game is constantly in flux. It's always changing, it's amorphous and kaleidoscopic. Even in the opening few moves, the positions proliferate. So it's really hard to grasp what's going on. You have to be attentive and conscious all the time. Now I'm gonna show you some positions to show you what I mean. If you enjoy my content, then please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Now, this is an opening reply. Green rolled a 6-2 and now white has a 6-5. So how would you make this play as white? And now I have a very similar position where white also has a 6-5 to play, but now white has run one of the checkers to the midpoint. So this is a third rolled position. So again, how would white choose to play 6-5? Now here we can see the two answers side by side. Now as an opening reply on the left, which I first showed you, it's correct to make the double hit, to make the blitz attack and unstack the two heavy points. However, on the right, because white has already escaped one checker, the game plan is slightly different and white just wants to continue racing and escaping the other back checker rather than making a blitz attack on the left. So here, this is what I mean by the kaleidoscopic possibilities, though we are only a few moves into the game and already you can see there is error and blunder potential. So you always must remain attentive to where the checkers are placed on the board, even from the very beginning. Keep your eyes open. Let's look at another position here. So here white has a 4-1 to play. Now the positions are very similar, but they are also different. It's a bit like spot the difference. Uh, have a moment to have a look and decide how you would play 4-1 in both of these two positions. So on the left, as an opening reply, it's correct to make the double hit and anything else would be an error. However, on the right, it's better to play 13 to eight once we've escaped one of the back checkers. Even though hitting twice on the right isn't a big error, it is still wrong. So here you can again see opening reply and third roll, how it changes. And XG is really good for experimenting with positions like this, moving your checkers around, looking at the opening reply, looking at the third roll, keeping your eyes open and remaining attentive to what's going on over the board. Now here I have two positions that I want you to have a think about and I will put the answers in the video description. So again, they are same, but they're different. 6-2, 6-2. Have a moment to think. Tell me in the chat kind of what you would do in these two instances. Thank you so much for watching. I put my email on the bottom of the screen if you want to contact me for lessons. Thank you for supporting my channel. Very appreciated. New videos every Wednesday. See you then. Goodbye. Best wishes.